What's going on guys? We're going to do a little technical analysis on CRM. So currently up nicely after the close on these earnings. What I do want to kind of look at here, uh, what I have is the four hour time frame up and I'm going back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, let's say three, three and a half weeks worth of data. And if you kind of look where we tag that 173.52 is currently a channel going back almost three weeks here uh, from when we had this big engulfing red nasty bar. It's just been a kind of a slow drift ever since a lot of consolidation, obviously anticipation of those earnings. We did get a nice spike. This is a nice hammer candle as well as a little pop 173.52. We're going to keep this very short and very sweet. What we are looking for tomorrow is some sort of confirmation over the after hours earnings highs. That's going to be your indication to go ahead and get long in the stock. Now, obviously, you're going to need to use <clears throat> uh, stop loss and you're going to need to manage your risk. It all depends on what kind of strategy that you're tr uh, trading. Now, obviously, if you guys are in my Discord, you guys kind of know how I'm trading and what I'm looking at so we can kind of manage these trades and use an aggressive stop loss so we do not allow these trades to kind of get away from us. But if we kind of just look here at the one-hour time frame, I would use this rising 20-day moving average on the one-hour time frame. That price is currently sitting at 165. If this risk is a little bit too steep for you, you are going to need to see some pullback and then you're gonna to need to see consolidation and then you're going to need to see a push higher. If you wanna give yourself a little bit of a lighter um, stop loss, we can do something like the five minute time frame when the market opens up here. And then we can kind of just ride this 20 SMA here. Anything above it, we wanna stay in the trade over 173.40. Anything below it, we kind of just wanna hang tight. See if we do come back all the way down to the 165 kind of you know resistance level that could see if it can act as support now but overall good good move here market you know a little bit choppy today however you know there were some stocks that were providing some op uh, areas of opportunity to kind of get in and make some money but i just kind of wanted to cover this stock here just due to the fact that it it did put up a nice move okay um so you know it's definitely something that needs to be on the watch list going into tomorrow just understand with a big move like this, we do want to see some consolidation. So whether that consolidation or little minor pullback comes um, in the pre-market or right off of the open, what we do not want to see is a gap over 173. I would rather open down here somewhere in the range of around 170, allow that to consolidate a little bit and then work its way back up in any break of 174 is where we're going to want to get long. Make sure that if you are day trading this stock, you take profits on the way up and scale accordingly. If you guys need a strategy and need to learn how to trade options or stocks, join my Discord and visit my website at evolutiontraders.com. You guys can get all of the information there on kind of how myself and the team are trading on a day in and day out basis. I do intraday technical analysis like this to kind of better help and suit everyone. So everyone kind of knows the levels that we're looking at here. So we not, we're not getting caught you know, with our pants around our ankles. Uh, with that being said, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'd be very curious to know if anyone played earnings on CRM. Did you take calls? Did you take puts? I would love to hear about it. Uh, drop that in the comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.